Yo, what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Cartier. You and Cartier World today. We got another reaction video, bro. It's really just that simple. I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all want to see in the comments. I see y'all. Y'all been running it up, running them numbers up, doing y'all thing, and that's love for real, bro. We need 5,000 subs, man. Let's get to 5,000 subs for real. Like, that's all I ask for. But anyway, turn on those post notifications. Keep supporting. It's all love. You know we got more high content on the way, bro. Got more content on the way. But today we got Napoleon on Tupac being scared after forming the movement 50 niggas after receiving letters. Sheesh. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know uh, 50 niggas, that's a tat that uh, Pac got on his stomach. His abdomen area, pause, you feel me? But uh, he got it over the AK-47. So we gonna see what this shit really meant, what it was really about. Uh, from my understanding, the 50 niggas movement was like, if we had one, like, one good nigga in every state, in there's 50 states, you know, we could accomplish anything. You know what I'm saying? All goals getting accomplished from my understanding. But y'all let me know what y'all think in them comments too. Tell me about um the movement, you know, Tupac was trying to form, the political movement called um 50 Inwards. Mm. Yeah, so Pac always had this vision, even though he was a very young dude, but I, I always say he was, he was very intelligent ahead of his time. And he always was about- Facts, always ahead of, of his time. Shout out to his mama too. Uh, had a lot to do with the Black Panther Party. Like, he just come from good stock, good kin folk. Like, way ahead of his time. Pac was always about how can he bring his people together. Mm. You know what I mean? How he can, um, like, how can he figure a way to, you know, he, used to, he, he didn't want killing in the neighborhoods anymore. Um, he used to always think about how he can, um, like, I believe he started this movement called 50 N-I-G-G-A-Z, okay? Mm. And... That's why he had that tattoo before he had Thug Life. And with this movement, he was right. Oh, so the 50 niggas but came before Thug Life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I, I like how he highlighting the good things about Pac. Like, he stood for unity, which is like his mom. You know what I'm saying? His his family come from, like, he was pushing, like, unity and, and, and community. That's hard. Back and forth with Matula Shakur. And Matula Shakur from prison was coming up with the codes of this movement. Mm. Like, what we gonna do, like, for example, kids go to school, let's say, for example, 7 a.m. in the morning, they get out of school 3 p.m., they were trying to get where the drug dealers don't sell drugs during the time kids are walking home from school. He was trying to get That's gang tough. members to have a truce and say, we won't have no war at this particular time, we, won't, we will stop shooting their schools. He was trying to figure, how can we save lives? But he mm. was smart enough to know that you can't just go to a killer or a drug dealer and say, put down your weapon, don't kill. That's not how they're gonna change, you know what I mean? Facts. So he said, we gotta start where we can make it, we can say, for example, be mindful of the kids. Mm. Don't sell drugs in this area. Don't mm. shoot at this area. So what happened is he started putting out, I believe interviews or maybe he did some radio clip uh, interviews before where he was like, look, I'm trying to start this movement of, with, from 50 states. He wanted black people in all 50 states who were shot callers in their neighborhoods. Mm. For example, this dude is a shot caller in Compton, for example, or Jersey. He wanted the shot callers from certain neighborhoods to come together and start pushing this movement. They mm. was gonna be the ones who implement that movement. And what happened, he said, man, that he started receiving letters from everybody. No, nah, that's hard, bro. To me, like, Tupac, man, he was much more than an artist, rapper, actor. He was like, man, he, he he damn near was a politician, bro. It was a whole political movement. Like, you know, just from the ghetto standpoint, like, that's hard how he knew and he had the vision. Like, hey, let me take the leaders from each state of our car of our community and let's all let's push this movement, man. Like, you know, for the betterment of our community. And he knew, like, okay, this is not going to be a today and tomorrow thing. It's going to take time. And it's about the approach. Like he said, like, being mindful. You know, first, uh, in order to, you know, change someone or people or a group, you first have to educate them. You got to change the mindset 
before you could change their actions. And I think that's kind of what Pac was getting at. He said he started receiving letters from people like, look, for example, you know, I'm not saying word by word, like he started receiving letters like, I'm such and such from Chicago. I got 200 soldiers under me. Tell mm. me what to do. I'm wow. such and such from New York. I have this. Just give us a green light. We listen. He said I fr he froze. Mm. He said I froze because I didn't expect that it was going to grow that fast and people was going to give me that responsibility. Mm. It scared me. This is what he said. Mm. He said it scared him that he didn't know that people was giving him that much power. And you got to remember at that time, he probably was 22, 23 years old, wow. having killers and drug dealers say, bro, you lead our way, we follow you. So he always had a vision of how he can, you know what I mean? How he can stop the killing of black people killing each other and, and Latino people killing each other. But Pac was different, even though he come from the Black Panther movement. But he knew that we living in a time we not like the Black Panthers. You know, the Black Panthers. Come Facts, that kind of remind me today, like we not like the Black Panthers and we don't really have like a formal group. You know what I'm saying? They kill our leaders and assassinated Malcolm X, uh, Martin Luther King, a number of people, like not just them. Like, it's just crazy how, you know, even now we are still not like the Black Panther group. And in that era, we are so far removed from that. But what's next? That's my question. What's next for our community? Like, where do we go after this? You know what I mean? What's the next group or the next leader we going to have, the next Pac, the next guy who's going to organize and lead this type of movement? And uh, I, I kind of, like, I like how Pac, like, he understood with a lot of... Uh, a lot of power comes a lot of responsibility. Like, that's real. He like, hold on. I was scared. Like, I, you feel me? I'm only 22, 23, and, and I'm leading nations. And, like, that's crazy. That's a crazy responsibility, bro. Like, you got to really you gotta really be that guy to do that and to, to not only just do it, but to do it successfully and really bring peace and change into the world An era where they can walk in the neighborhood and they can talk to the drug dealers and they can say don't sell drugs you know what i mean the black panthers was fighting against them mm. we was living in our era pot know that that's not how you're going to get to the people you're mm. going to have to get to the people but you're going to have to do it step by step you can't go to a killer or a drug dealer and say don't you know what i mean don't do this and don't do that because our time was we was a little more ignorant than the time of the black panther party Facts. so pot knew that he had to he had to give something, He, you know what I mean? He had to give up something to to get something back from him. Mm. Yeah, he always had that, you know, to be a young, you know, because I look at it now, like, Pac was what? He was 25 years old when he passed away, bro. I look at it like the guy was, he was he was a very intelligent dude. He was a very, you know what I mean? He was, he was deep, definitely. Like, the conversations we have with him, um, the things that he wanted to do, he didn't want to, he didn't want to end it where, he wanted to really get back to the communities. Mm. Hey, bro, that's hard. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to Pac, like a true legend in the game.